And we know what a second Trump term would look like. It's all laid out in Project 2025, written by his closest advisors, and its sum total is to pull our country back to the past. But America, we are not going back. A promise from the candidate who hopes to take the vice off vice president. She took a unified approach, vowing to be a president for all Americans as she accepted her party's nomination. And with that, the candidates for both parties have been decided officially. Caroline Cummings is live for us in Chicago this morning. Caroline, what topics did Harris address last night? And good morning. Good morning, Stefan Ron from a quiet United Center now. Cleaning crews have been cleaning up all of the confetti and balloons since last night when Kamala Harris made that speech accepting the nomination for president. And so she really focused on her personal story initially, kind of an introduction to those who might not know who she is, who were watching at home, talking about growing up in Oakland in a middle class neighborhood to rising to being a prosecutor and the, then the attorney general of California before then senator and now vice president. And she also drew a really sharp contrast between her and former President Donald Trump. She called him, quote, an unserious man, but said the, quote, consequences of putting him back in the White House are extremely serious. So she was really trying to appeal to Americans why she thought that Donald Trump was a danger to America and that she was the person who was fit for the job. She did talk a little bit about what she supports policy wise, of course, doubling down on abortion rights in the wake of Roe versus Wade uh, being overturned. And then also said she supports that bipartisan immigration bill that Congress ultimately did not clear over the finish line. But she said that she would sign that into law. So uh, a wide ranging speech that touched on the personal and then the political stakes. And then, of course, what what policy she envisions for the nation. You guys and Caroline with the DNC now over what's next for their campaign. Right. So this is kind of the unofficial start to the real like get down to the finish here uh, for the general election matchup. So you can expect uh, not only the Harris and Walls campaign, but also the Trump Vance campaign crisscrossing the country, probably uh, with a special focus on those battleground states where this race will be fought and won, trying to take that message to voters. And for Harris's part, you know, this is uh, uh, anytime you're coming off of a convention, there's a lot of momentum surrounding your campaign. The spotlight is on you and your party. So she's really going to try to ride that wave of momentum as long as she can. Because remember, it's only been a month since her candidacy was first announced when Joe Biden dropped out. And Step the on. race and the race is on. All right, Caroline Cummings live from the DNC floor there in Chicago. Thank you so much for joining us this morning.